Hey guys, Mitch here with Super Platinum Achievement, and I've got a uh, new game we're going to try out today. Uh, the game just dropped on uh, August 28th, and it's called Windbound. Now, I don't know a whole lot about this game besides that um, it's like uh, Breath of the Wild mixed with Moana. <laughs> you're on a boat, you're stranded in a uh, an area of islands, and you're just trying to survive, I guess. Um so, yeah, I don't know uh, a whole lot about it. I just know that the uh, art style is very similar to Breath of the Wild. Um, and uh, it was intriguing to me. So I'm going to try it out here uh, for about half an hour or so. And we'll give you our first impressions. And as is customary with gameplay sessions, we are going to be trying out a new controller. And that is these guys. Um, now, these are uh, Joy-Cons. So they disconnect from this little grip here. And they go on the Switch. But I'm going to use it in the Pro Controller style with this little... Uh, Grip Connect here. Um, yeah, this is my first time playing uh, much of a game for a long period of time with these. I just got these a couple days ago as well. They are by Kinvoca, the Joypad. And you can get these on Amazon. Um, I'll throw the link below and uh, watch out uh, for a review that we, we, will, we will be doing on these um, in a few days or so. And uh, we're going to do a double review because Austin got a pair of these as well. So he's going to give us uh, his thoughts. Uh, but yeah, without th further ado... Here is Windbound. By Deep Silver. Five Live Studios. I, I'm not sure what else they've done. Even the little swirly um, looks like Moana. <laughs> Moana meets Wind Waker meets Breath of the Wild. I don't know. I'm really intrigued with this game uh, to see how it plays. Um, it was only 30 bucks, so it's not a AAA title by any means. Um, the only thing I've seen about it is through Facebook ads. Uh, other than that, I haven't seen anything from it. I just saw the art style and was like, you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. We're going to try it out. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get super sucked into the game or not, um, but we'll see. Uh, so far, it's taking forever to load, though. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Great game so far. Uh, talk about these controllers a little bit more. Like I said, they are Joy-Con. They come off this grip here, and you can use them separately. They're wireless, so you can hold them in your own separate hands if you like playing that way, um, like so. If you want to hold them like that, you can. Um, I'm going to use them in the controller format. And they are really comfortable. Um, a lot more comfortable when you hold them like this than a normal Joy-Con. Um, oh, here we go. Windbound. Let's play. We got three survival slots. All right. Survivalist and Storyteller. For players who want the full Windbound experience, only items in held inventory slots are retained upon death. Uh, return to chapter one upon death. Standard combat difficulty. Okay. And then storyteller for players who want to focus on windbound story. Full inventory is retained upon death. Chapter progress is retained upon death. Combat difficulty is reduced. Hmm. I'm big on story, but uh, survivalist seems like the full experience. We're going to go with survivalist. So it's got three save slots, so you can try both ways if you get frustrated with this. Five Live Studios. A texture issue or art choice with the gray floor. Here's, here's Moana and the, the crew. It's a really pretty art style. I am a big fan of cell shading, so it ages really, really well. That is a giant creature. Yeah, see, this art style is going to still hold up for years to come, I think, and look great. And that's why more games are going with it. 
Windbound, Breath of the Wild, um, the new rare title, uh, I forget what it's called, something with Wild as well, I thought. <clears throat> All right. Camera, Dismiss Tutorial. Okay, you run by clicking down the left stick, which is something I wish Breath of the Wild would have done. Uh, jump is A. Attack is Y. X and B are nothing right now. Oh, B is put, put away inventory. Oh, here we go. Into this portal. More loading. Uh, and this game did come out on um, all systems. Uh, I just got it on the Switch because I want to be able to, uh, you know, mess around with it in handheld a little bit as well. Um, I'm a big Switch fan. If something comes out on the Switch, I usually will get it on the Switch unless it's uh, like uh, the Outer Worlds. I haven't got that on Switch yet because, well, one, it's on Game Pass. Uh, so I don't have to pay for it when I already have Game Pass. And two, I've just heard that it doesn't handle well on the Switch with um, the the graphics and loading times and all that. It's really quiet. There we are. Making sure my sound didn't go out. And it's gorgeous. The Lost Islands, Chapter 1. Oh, what's this? Got a rock. Oop, X. Okay, so I can pick up a rock. Rocks are plentiful and extremely, extremely versatile. Born of the ocean's fiery heart. Worn smooth by time's caress. Okay. I got a rock. Can you swim in this? You can. You can swim. Got some enemies over there. So far these controllers aren't bad. Um, they would be better in handheld mode. Get another rock here. You know, if you're playing uh, in docked mode like I am right now, then there, there's no better option than the uh, Pro Controller. The Switch Pro Controller is my favorite controller that exists. Um, and uh, we actually did a video on our top five controllers of all time. Uh, so check that out. Let's go up here. Okay. Just exploring. Making sure I get everything that's around. Ooh, can I get fish? I'm going to try and snag a fish. Nope. Fish uh, swam away too fast. So I do have a stamina bar up there um, in the top left in the yellow. So when I swim, it slowly starts to go down, and I assume I'll start actually losing stamina when the... You see, it's two different shades, and I'm assuming that when it goes down all the way... Oh, never mind. When it goes down all the way in the first shade, and it's just orange, then I'll actually start losing stamina itself. We'll find out here. Yep, that's exactly what happens. Go back to land. I'm sweating it out. Okay, and then the stamina will return, but it runs out when I'm running as well. Okay, and then there's my health meter up there in the top left right above it. And all these rocks, I don't know if I have a... Uh, max amount of inventory that I can carry yet. But uh, apparently my pockets are huge, just like Lynx are. So that's good. I mean, these are no small rocks, and uh, I'm fitting them in these little uh, um, trousers here. Ooh, thick grass. Who doesn't need some thick grass? This thick, fibrous grass is surprisingly hardy. Through weaving, we learn the value of burden shared. Okay. 
New recipe. Grass rope. Okay. What is this stuff? Just a pile of hay. Okay. Nope. Nope. That's minus. Where is our inventory? Okay, so right on the D-pad is your weapons. I don't have any... Uh, there's your map. Big, uh, big circle so far. Options, save game, exit. Okay, I don't... Uh, Like Breath of the Wild music and everything. Okay, so I'm gonna swim this way. Yeah, these controllers are comfortable. Um, they do have these charge ports though, right here, right where your fingers rest, your middle finger. Um, not a huge fan of that. Okay. Not a lot to this island. Uh, let's get some more grass. Because you know what? Who doesn't need all the thick grass and rocks? Are you a bad guy? Hmm. Ooh, I can dig. Let's dig. Uh, I don't have a... I don't have a thing. But I do have a rock! Man, I keep pushing B to jump. That's, uh... Ooh, something under here? No. I mean, how much uh, thick grass and how many rocks do I need? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to go here, though. This seems like a good place to start. thingamajig. Ooh, it's making my necklace glow and go through my shawl. What do you call that? Oh, it, it's the whole staff. Oh! Okay, it's an ore. It's a special ore. Secret invisible ore of time. Or invisibility. Or of the ancestors. I was close. You know, time, ancestors, same thing. An ornate, mysterious ore. Uh, though ancient, it remains in perfect condition. Occasionally, it trembles in your hands as if something resides within. If faith was enough, there'd be no need for ores. Yeah. Got it. We'll climb on this, you know, sacred shrine now. Oh, press R to bring up the inventory craft menu. And then use ZR to select the boat parts page. Oh, I can build a boat. Select a canoe or a deck and craft in the water with A. Okay. Additional parts can be attached to your boat once crafted. So I assume I just make it all out of... Okay. Rope made from grass. like the explanation. Grass rope. A rope made from grass. Okay. Building a boat. Press R to bring up the inventory. So I can use like the boat parts. The R. Press R. Press the R. Just like boat parts. Oh, I see. Go to canoe. I need Four thick grass, two grass ropes. Okay. So I gotta make... I gotta get more grass. 
you know, I thought I had enough, but you can never have enough grass rope or thick grass. Let's get all of the thick grass. Hey, piggy. Good piggy, bad piggy. Ooh, koji berry. Small edible fruit, best eaten quickly after harvesting. Eat to replenish your stamina. Okay. See, these rocks keep acting like there's something underneath them. All the grass and all the land is now in my bag and now in my hand. Do you like my song? Oh, I scared the piggies. See, why do these rocks keep doing this? Are they just saying, hey, I'm a rock? I don't know. All right, let's try this game. Sling. Sure, let's craft one. A simple, simple sling woven grass of woven grass, while not most refined of ranged weapons, it gets the job done. Okay. Sloppy, I feel it doesn't. I don't see any numbers going up anywhere. Oh, I guess that's where it is. Okay, weapons, boat. There we go. Making the boat. Boom. Push. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, just go towards it to get in it. X to row. Hunger reduces your maximum stamina over time. Eat food to restore it. Oh. I should... Oh, no, no, no. I should eat food then. Jackson move there. Forward, reverse, steer, backward. Forward! Oh, that's a bumpy ride in the canoe. Amazing that I just made this out of grass, rope, and grass. Fantastic. Rocks. Got 16 of them. Not enough. Let's explore before I climb the glowy hill of possible doom. Ooh, more grass. Ooh, my first gap. And I nailed it. I'm the best. I looked like Groot at first. Not Groot. Gru. Gru. Interact. Is that a conch? It is a conch. Oh, magic conch shell. Which is now gone. 
The gyre widen, widens the hunter <laughs> ensnares her prey. Nautilus key. Okay. This beautifully adorned shell resonates with a mysterious power, an arcane relic from a bygone era. Much can be learned of the door by examining the key. Hmm, or riddles. Okay. Hoi. So there's no uh, narrative story so far. It's like, okay, what is this? Oh, man. It's like, hey, figure things out on your own. All right. Let's, uh, no, don't push, row. Okay, I guess I have to push. Wait, no, not that way. Gosh darn it. Look at my force, force abilities. Oh, not a fan of that so far. That's weird. Alright, we're gonna go... Let's go to this one. This is tedious. Stamina by rowing? Doesn't look like it, but I'm getting hungry already. There's a seaweed patch over here. Boy, this game is absolutely gorgeous, though. I love the art style. Not well polished. Um, you know, the textures will pass through each other. Ooh, don't want to crash through this coral reef. Do I want to explore it? I feel like I should. Oh dear. This was a bad idea. I'm going to drown. Please say I can stand on the reef. Oh no, I die on the reef. Oh no, I'm going to die. die, I just sort of drowned. Where's my boat? Did my boat get lost? Okay, you also lose your boat when you get out and drown. So now I gotta build a new boat. Let's try it out. Boat. Yep, I do. Okay, your boat is not a permanent boat. It is a boat that you, just like anything else, can lose. So. We're gonna make it to this island, see what's up. And uh, yeah, and then save it and leave off there. I don't want this uh, first video to be too long. I just wanted to, you know, give you guys and myself a good, uh, good impression of what the game's gonna be like. So far, it's very much, uh, it kind of reminds me of Rhyme, if you've played Rhyme at all. Uh, the art style as well is similar. It just kind of drops you off, um, same situation, you wash up on shore, uh, you don't know what to do, and you just start exploring. Um, I never finished Rhyme, I just played a little bit, I didn't get super into it. Um, so far, I am more into this game than I was Ryan. Um, hey look, it's my other boat. Two boats. I wonder if I can 
retrieve that and do something with it. I need food, or I'm gonna start you know, getting kind of sluggish here, I imagine. Dig? Can I? Nope, still need the bone shovel. I assume that's what that is, because it was in my inventory. Palm frond. A broad, sturdy leaf that is great for weaving. The divergence of the palm frond remind us that we are the sum of our choices, paths taken and untaken. That's deep. Totally, man. I think I need any more rocks for now. I don't know what I'm doing with them. But tall grass apparently is near. Sorry, thick grass. Uh, is needed. And if the grass talks. I don't know what. It says there's a rock here. I don't believe it. It's a hidden, sunken rock. Maybe it's. Friend with the invisible ore. Or maybe not. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Not cool. Game. Okay, I could totally grab that. Yeah, like I said. Not the not a triple A title, not super well polished. Um Okay. Oh, it's another shell. Okay. I gotta get... I said one of three on the last one that I got. So here's two of three that are going into my necklace. Where where do you keep your shell? The shell spirits of the sea give us life. Our hearts beat in harmony. The beacons are lit! Gundor calls for aid. All right, so I got to find all these. That's where I came from. Uh, I assume that's where I need to go next. Because I don't see... another island besides that. It's a far... Uh, far journey, though, on my little canoe. Um, so we're going to save it here. This is Windbound. Uh, so far, pretty interesting. Pretty... Oh, dear. I broke my legs. Uh, pretty fun. Um, like I said, the art style is really nice. It's very pretty. I love this art style. Um, not super well polished. The textures kind of just mesh with each other. Here's a great example of a half rock, half ground. Doesn't look great. Uh, those graphics could be on a uh, um, the Wii, I feel like. <laughs> I mean, obviously it's HD, but uh, the textures are you know, not super well done. Um, so, not, not the best, not the worst. Oh, I just saw something I was supposed to pick up. Was it a critter? I don't know. Let's try it again with this one. If I immediately push X, do I pick something else up? I don't know. Alrighty, we are going to save it. Leave it there. We will pick this up later. Um, if you guys want to see more of the gameplay, let me know in the comments. Uh, make sure to give us a big thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so if I do more of these and you want to see them, you will know when I do them. Check out our other content and watch out for the full review that I'll be doing in the future on the Joypad by, what was it, Kinvoka. Check it out. We'll give you our full thoughts. Um, so far, I'm liking it. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, make sure to always stop by with us here at Super Platinum Achievement. Thanks, guys.